Good afternoon and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here today with Puddin and Rich and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is his ability to understand and respond to his formal on-leash obedience commands. The little tiny corrections and lots of motivation that we give him when we're working with him and the training equipment that we're using. Rich is using a regular six-foot web training leash and he keeps the bulk of the leash folded neatly in his right hand. That leaves his left hand free to give that little tiny correction that we're talking about. And that is just a slight tug and release on his training collar. And that is the second piece of equipment that we're using. You'll be introduced to his training equipment tomorrow when you pick him up and taught how to use it properly. Now the first exercise that Rich is demonstrating for you is healing. Healing is proper leash walking and the command is put in heel. At this point, Puddin has a job to do, and that is to maintain pace with you when not walking. Not forging ahead, not lagging behind, and when Rich stops his feet, Puddin has been taught to sit and wait for his next command. So this makes walking your dog a pleasure instead of a drag. And if you notice where Rich's hand is on the leash, it's down closer to Puddin's neck so that he doesn't have a whole lot of slack where he can get out in front of you and be no longer healing and then at this point because he's big and strong he's leading the walk. Now the next command that Rich is going to demonstrate stay. is the sit stay. The bugs are bad out here today because of the humidity. The stay is a hand and a voice command. It can be practiced indoors as well as outdoors. And you want to lengthen out the amount of time he can hold it and the distance that you can go. When Rich returns back to him, he walks right back to his shoulders and he waits for his next command. And because it is hot and muggy, we're not going to do too much more healing because we don't want him to overheat because he's used to being in the air conditioning, of course. And then we bring him out into this heat and humidity. Now if he doesn't sit automatically, you tell him no. You give him that little tug and release on the training collar. And this time, instead of returning back to Puddin's shoulders, Rich will demonstrate the recall or the come on command. It's Puddin come, and he's been taught to come and sit. Back at heel this time he went. And that's fine, as long as he's coming and sitting and not coming and jumping. We're all swat, swatting bugs out here. Now the next command that we're going to demonstrate for you is his ability to lay down on command. Stay. And we brought out a blanket because he's a bit of a press. He doesn't like to lay down on the ground, but he likes to lay down indoors and he likes a, a blanket, a mat, a dog bed, whatever you have. And again, you're going to practice out lengthening out the amount of time that he can hold it and the distance that you can go. So we'll show you that one more time. He's going to be nice and clean for you when you come to get him tomorrow. He's had a bath. And I'm sure he's going to be super duper excited to see you. When he loses his focus, you will see Rich give that slight tug and release. Nice stay. down. Stay. And Rich did give him a little bit of food, a little treat, <laughs> and now he's looking for them on the ground. And you should soon be able to have him doing it down without a treat. He's a good boy. We've enjoyed having him. I know he's looking forward to seeing you tomorrow, and clearly you're looking forward to seeing him. We want to thank you for choosing Nora's Dog Training Company.